Welcome back to another episode of the Bear Trap on the Boomer Bus Channel, a Bears podcast by a Bears fan. I'm your host, Terry, and today we are looking at everybody's favorite, the Chicago Bears run game. So uh, with that, we are going to look at David Montgomery. Um, he had 10 carries. Uh, and so contrary to what it felt like, especially in the first quarter, uh, Cordero only had three versus, uh, Montgomery's 10. We know we didn't run the ball a whole lot, the whole game, but, um, I think one of the bigger things that stood out to me early on was, um, how late into the game before Montgomery finally got going and, um, We'll see, you know, pretty soon. His first carry came at the nine minute mark. So, uh, and by that time, Cordero already had a carry and it's just interesting. So anyway, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this started. And so first and 10. And we know we didn't do well. We know we haven't been doing well and that this is a really good run defense, but we want to break it down. So our three tight ends set. Looks like we tried to do some type of, I don't know. Let's see. I saw a tight end come back around. It might have been a split. Who knows? So that's Holtz. Looks like he came back. Um, so it might have been a split zone. And it is. And he ends up tripping. But it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Um, we wash it down pretty decently. Obviously, Shaquille Barrett not being blocked on the edge hurts us. But we get pretty good movement. I mean, Vita Vea kind of destroys the play side, which probably had a couple yards there if you got to it. But the backside was there, and really, if you had Barrett blocked on the edge, if Holtz didn't fall, you probably had even a better game. So it wasn't terrible. Uh, so first and 10, first quarter, five minutes, we're in the I formation, I pro. Motion down to a wing. Looks like a straight ISO. I don't know, maybe it was a zone. We tend to run inside zone pretty exclusively, but maybe it was an ISO. And it looks like a ISO. I'm shocked. So, uh, so with that, with this ISO, let's see. Really, because they have no a gap. Well, he's technically a gap defender, but depends on where you're going. So, if you're ISOing through this a gap, you shouldn't. You should be going here. So it should be double here, double there. And that's what it is. Uh, for they go here, so it's more like a blast. They're going through the B gap. And Levante David, I mean, really, that's all it is. Levante David, which, again, you'll hear me cry about linebackers forever. This right here is two different generations. David is the prototypical throwback linebacker, and this is what you used to be taught. You don't sit there and dance and wait. You see a gap, you fill the gap, and he meets the blocker in the hole, wrong arms him, and it shuts the hole down. Now, <laughs> we still got a little bit of push, but, you know, for whatever that play is going to be, you no longer got it because the linebacker blows it up and then everybody rallies to the ball. But I'm encouraged seeing the ISO. Why not do more of that? Even out of a uh, shotgun, people act like inside zone is the only thing you can run out of shotgun. Anyway, under center, three tight ends, motion to that side. We run a power, it looks like. Somebody got tripped. Small game. All right, so we motion over to a wing pair. Actually, it's not really because it's a nub. But anyway, we block down. We pull around for the power. And I don't... I, I don't understand what happened there. Because, first of all, the handoff doesn't even make sense. Let me see. Uh, 
Yeah, that's that's too tight. The handoff is too tight. Um, from what it looks like to me, this is a power, uh, a regular old power G. So we're gonna block back since it's two of them. Uh, we're gonna block back. We're gonna block here. We're gonna pull around. They're blocking down, or another guy's gonna block down too. We're gonna pull to the edge. So with that, the handoff should be step here to the uh, C gap. They do a handoff here, right up the A gap, and you put Montgomery right on the heels of Daniels, who ends up tripping them. I just I don't understand why they did that. Or at least that's how it would run power. So now he's right. Yeah, he trips Daniels. Because if Daniels pulls and hits this edge, then we're good. Now, I know there's some uh, coaches that would like to do this short step here and then step out like to hold the defense. But it's risky. And you see why, especially if your running back's not made for it. So we give it a handoff like it's a dive. That would have been gone, to be honest with you. The tight ends did a really good job on the edge. The fact that we even got yards shows that um, the blocking was there. So far, I've seen an ISO, seen a power. Interesting. Obviously, our split zone. So we're in the white zone. And I remember I was yelling. I was like, why do we not run the ball? Like, I don't care that it hasn't been going well. When you're that close to the end zone, you have to run the ball to keep them honest. Just so the lineman can fire off the ball a little. So we motion to two tight ends. Got that two by two. And really just the inside zone. Good job by uh, Wims. Uh, I mean, Barrett gets off of it and makes the play, but he holds him up enough to where uh, he he doesn't wreck the play. And we've seen that happen many times. So it's the inside zone. I mean, cutback is good. I mean, that's the thing. Like, you only need a little bit of yard. It don't have to be perfect. <laughs> you just need a little bit of movement. I mean, it wasn't great. We didn't get a ton of movement, but you didn't need a ton. So, first and 10, third quarter now. Under center again. Actually, I think all these have been under center. I'm not sure what that was. I don't know what Anthony Miller was doing. Bars is in by this time. And will probably be our foreseeable. So this is more of an outside zone. And they, I mean, they just do a good job. JPP on the edge, even though it's a pretty good block, JPP uh, sets that edge, doesn't give it up. Because on the outside zone, if he gets... Too far inside, I mean, the, the corner safety, whoever that is, he's in a good position. But typically, if he gets too far inside on the edge, you know, you can turn it. But everybody did a good job. Backside pursuit was there. So good job on the defense, really stringing that out. Now, outside zone is something I definitely would run more out of a shotgun. But I'm more of a power runner. I don't really... I mean, zone has its uses, but I'm much rather power and gap. Ah, funny enough. So we run outside zone out of shotgun after I was just talking about that. Um, so let's see. Got our tight end in. Reduce down. Receiver, switch sides. Corners up on the line. Uh, I hate when I click the slow button and it doesn't work. Oh, my God. Did it again. Just a huge 
Man, and then Massey just gave up. What are you doing, Massey? All right, let's break this down. Sorry, missed the, the slow button twice. All right, so now we got our outside zone going. Um, Bars is with Vita, and really, it's not too hard to stay with him. So Whitehair's already going up to second level. Fetty's doing a good job so far. Massey. And the tight end should be going two for one up here. It's looking good. All right, at the mesh point, and I understand the the um the the what's it called the temptation to turn it up now. Uh, right now is looking pretty good. Going to the second level, Montgomery's eyes is clearly no longer <laughs> on the outside. He's already trying to hit this wave, and I understand that. But then he plays too much. See, that's where you got to be decisive. Uh, Montgomery right there, I don't know why he peeks at the backside, A. Eh? Like, just hit it. He goes here and then bounces. Now the linebacker's closer than he was. Everybody's closer when you could have just hit it right away. So then he goes back to the outside. And by that time, Massey just gave up on his block. And Fetty was getting beat on his. Timing, man. Seconds. I keep saying it. Sometimes Montgomery hurts himself as well. So we're in the fourth quarter now. <laughs> to the next run. <laughs> uh, two by two out of shotgun. Make something out of nothing. Good hard running. Breaking a tackle. But let's see what that was supposed to be. Looks like another outside zone. Press it. Ah, oh, press it. Still press it. I mean, what? Ah, Montgomery, that's on him. I mean... You're not going to get a whole lot of these runs where you can just run around and bounce it all the way back. Um, you got that on this one, but that's not high percentage. Follow the blocks. I don't know if you just don't trust them or what, but it seems like a lot of times in these zones, he doesn't know his aiming points. And it, it hurts us. Like, I mean, yes, blockers could be bad, but also you can put them in bad situations. All right, second and 28. Real long ways to go. Draw play. I didn't like the way that ball action looked. I don't know if the snap was off, but. It didn't even seem like a pass at all. He just straight handed it off to him. That was weird. I, I, <laughs> I don't like that. Now Montgomery again. Holy crap. As weird as all that is. At this point, he's coming up field good. Uh, Well, they're doing a good job actually, but still. At this point, you have the mesh. You see white hair in front of you. Why are you trying to bounce? Why are you trying to outrun David Devin White to where he already is? Like, what are you doing? There's no blocker there. What do you think was going to happen? You thought Devin White was going to run into a brick wall? At, like... In this run, you should be riding his tail, and if anything, cutting back here. Yeah, oh, well. Uh, second and 28 anyway. So first and 10. We're still down fourth quarter. Out of shotgun. Now we're running a, a whole lot out of shotgun. And honestly, the runs under center weren't bad. I mean, there was a couple miscues that threw things off, but they weren't bad. It looks like we did some type of power. Uh, 
And really, that's just Jimmy Graham's, uh, who was he going against, JPP? Yeah, JPP blew that up. I mean, he's a hell of a defensive uh, player. Yeah, that, that messed the pool up. That messed everything up. But JPP just blew that up. And Jimmy Graham's a tight end and not necessarily a top-notch blocking one. So what do you expect? First and 10, minute 36 left. This is after we passed it. Or no, did we pass this one? I think we took that shot and then we threw another pass after that. I can't remember. No, because it's first and 10, so it couldn't have been that. So a short game looks like another power. I'm here for these powers, even though we're not great at it. Pin them, Jimmy. Move your feet. Pin them. Uh, so let me see. Because it was there. Oh, my God. What is David Montgomery doing? Like, the handoff this time was on path. He was on path to follow this block and his power. He gets, he starts coming up this way. That's not where power hits. Montgomery's trying to come up the A gap. There's a linebacker there. Now he's uh, jump cutting outside when he should have just been running to the outside to begin with. And Anthony Miller, piss poor job on that block. That's it. Good, because my stomach hurts. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, again, there, there's definitely a lot of room to improve on the O-line. But, man, the, uh, the edge is not as bad as it was last year with those tight ends. These tight ends do a better job. Um, and then... We have some spots where it's there. We just, David Montgomery, man, like his vision is really hurting us. Um, so anyway, <laughs> um, that's it for me. Go ahead to the comment section. Let me know uh, what you thought. Share around. Get the conversation started. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And remember, stay up and bear down.